Hello, so it's been a while since my last scrapbook video. I've got a bit of an update. Not only is this video sponsored by Skillshare, but the scrapbook Skillshare course that I've been dropping hints about for the past year or so has been released. It is now live up on the Skillshare website. So you can go watch it, check it out. It's about just under an hour's worth of content, teaching you how to make your own titles, your own stickers, your own Polaroid templates. I also have a little rundown of all my scrapbooking essentials as well on there so the first 1,000 subscribers of mine to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial to Skillshare that means you can watch my class for free you can check out all the other creatives and the great thing is that this platform is made specifically for learning so there are no ads whatsoever and Skillshare are always bringing out new premium classes so there's always stuff to keep an eye out for I've mainly used it for editing and for arts and crafts stuff learning how to do different graphic designs and stuff like that but if you've not tried it I'd say give it a one month free trial see how you like it have a go at the Skillshare course send me all of your pictures and your recreations of the pages that you make hopefully it helps a few of you so before we start with today's scrapbooking session I just wanted to say a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video if you follow me on Instagram for a while you'd know that I used to go out for dinner with my dad every Friday and we would do a Friday dinner with dad unfortunately of course with Covid that had to stop but I realized I never scrapbooked all of my favorite restaurants that we went to so these photos are are photos that I've just cut out um, and printed out on my printer so as always I leave everything below including my Polaroid template so you can just download it you don't have to request permission you can just insert your photos make sure that they fit into these little squares and then cut them out on photo printing paper make sure that you change your printing settings to glossy also the majority of the pictures that I printed off have a kind of orange hue or warm toned feel to them so for backgrounds I've gone with some old scrap card this is an easter egg wrapper so i had a lovely maltese's egg it's like quite a luxury feel to it also i like the texture of it if i needed it for a silver as well i could use a silver but i prefer the gold i'm not sure if i'm going to use this but this came from a plant pot this came from a calendar, my 2020 calendar. Now my original plan was to get loads of business cards like these so that I could stick them in the book. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find all of the places um, and they've been shut. I could try and make them myself. So to make these cards, I'm actually gonna use birthday cards because they're always made out of really good quality material. Also with this Frenchie card, I really like the embossed gold F, but all the information's on the other side, so I'm just going to do my usual rip in half kind of trick so that you can see both sides. Also, if you ever come to London and you're looking for a nice bougie meal, I could not recommend Frenchie Covent Garden anymore. I think I'm going to turn this F into a small little square and write Friday dinner with dad as like a little title. I just went around the writing with a little black pen to try and make it stand out a bit more. So it's a bit more like a title. And so to make the pages cohesive, I'm actually gonna use the other half of this gold and put it on here so it's like flipped or parallel. Annoyingly though, because it is such fragile tin foil, it has kind of ripped in this lower corner. I am now gonna use my trusty craft mount, the 3M craft mount to stick the backgrounds and the pictures down. And what I like is then this is like a straight line of photos. That would be really nice. If only I had like a picture that could go like that. Damn. Otherwise that would be really satisfying. And to stick the photos, I'm going to use my Neon Sheep Photo Corner stickers. Um, just in case if I want to swap out the pictures. Glue stick is not strong enough to stick on foil. So I'm going to use the craft mount for everything if possible. So this is how the Petersham Nursery business card should look like, but it wouldn't actually go with the theme of the page. So I'm gonna do something completely different, but try and keep the font. It's quite a nice serif font, so I'm gonna try and keep that. There's no way I could do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my stamp pad to date the stamp that I went to Petersham Nurseries. This was from Poundland. I'm gonna be really creative 
and write on a napkin, kind of a dirty napkin. As a foodie, I thought this was a great way to scrapbook some nice pictures of food. So this is going to be the second spread. I've made two more little business cards. As I've already done the serviette trick on the other two pages, I thought I would use tissue paper instead. I really want something 3D on this page, so I'm going to try and see if I can find some nice buttons to go and stick down but I think it'd be quite nice to add a little bit of sparkle and like some black as well to make it look a bit more 3D. I can't believe I broke buttons with scissors and just brute strength. So for the Roker card, I'm going to be using my stamp set. These came from Tiger. The one on Amazon that I wanted was about 15 quid. This was only three, as it was only four letters long. It fit perfectly. And I'm just going to put the address and the date that we went. And yeah, I'm really happy with that. I was also recently given this birthday card and I really liked the gold embossing on here. For the Savoy Grill business card, I thought I would actually just do the post theatre seasonal menu that we had that day, rather than just doing like a simple name and location. So for the black tissue paper, I am really hoping that my white gel pen will work nicely. To stick down the buttons, I'm actually going to use Yoohoo glue instead of the spray adhesive, just because this is a little bit more accurate. So for the next page, I was going to do that for my Chinese grandma and granddad because I did do a page on my English nana and granddad in my old scrapbook. In a vlog, I brought you along to come and meet my grandma and I printed off the photos. Unfortunately, my printer ran out of ink, so they came out quite blue. So I'm going to try and maybe do a bit of a blue spread for this. This background paper I actually made myself using sticker paper. I got this background off Pinterest, which I will link my Pinterest below if you want to find my boards. But I show you how to do that in the Skillshare course. This sparkly blue paper is actually just leftover wrapping up paper and this little square here I thought was quite nice because it's kind of Asian and goes with the theme that was from the back of my 2020 calendar. So for these blue pictures something that I did to make them a little bit less blue was I left a border around them when cutting them out so they have this little white part which makes it just um, a little bit less overwhelming I find. So this background I've spoken about before, it was actually from a book block subscription box thing. Um, I ripped it in half so that I would get two of these backgrounds and this photo perfectly fits over the top of the writing. It's also kind of got like pens and like nursery travel stuff on it and it kind of goes with the photo. It's also blue as well. Also with this little bird that I cut out, what it needs is a black border. So I'm gonna go get my Sharpie and go around the edges of that. Because it's such good quality, it's gonna be quite hard to stick. So I'm gonna rip it down the back. Oh, hi dad. Hello matey, how are you? Guess what I'm doing? I am just filming your parents' page on the scrapbook. I was gonna put in Chinese characters, Ma Ma, and I think they said it's something like Yeah Yeah or something like that. Yeah, 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 it could be Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> It's not four pages for dad, it's four pages for food. Four pages for food. So for the title, I'm actually using the spare photo printing paper, the HP paper, um, that I cut off when I was cutting out the pictures. And it fits perfectly in there. So I'm gonna just practice my Chinese characters. They're gonna be terrible. My grandma might laugh when she sees this, but I'm gonna try my hardest. I really want to add a little bit more color to this page. This is a scrap from this background paper and I think it works quite nicely. I might use this little cut off from here and then it does fit and it kind of goes with this picture as well. I'm not sure if I've overused the whole 
handkerchief thing but I do have this really nice napkin which came from Tiger, a set of them and I was thinking that could work quite well as a background but also because I will be printing my photos using the Instax mini link and the film that I have in there is like this, it's um, like a coloured film, a rainbow one so I got this birthday card with a football on it and because we play football on my birthday I thought I'm going to cut that out stick that in the corner so what I'm actually doing is I'm cutting up this really beautiful birthday card that I had I cut it up originally for the beautiful birthday sign and then I really like the corner of it and the other corners so I took the evening off I've come back because it got too dark to continue and I'm really happy with this birthday party that I had with my friends and this day and I'm gonna have a nice pink page but these two photos are kind of a little bit blue, so they don't go as well. I saved this envelope that my friend coloured in for me. We colour in our cards for each other. And so I'll just stick this picture in the envelope. In this folder, I have all of my background papers. Then I'm gonna use this kind of blue thick washi tape to go around the edges to make a better border. It's quite a busy background as backgrounds go on my book, but I like it a lot. When it comes to sticking down envelopes, the trick is to glue the flap, not the inside, but the outside flap part. But that way it can still flip up and you can stick stuff inside. I think I might write um, on a little piece of scrap white paper about the day, stick it in there and then I can pull it out. So the writing's hidden. It feels a bit more like a collage, uh, this kind of page which is quite nice. So to make this flimsy piece of paper a little bit stronger, I'm actually gonna stick the Polaroid onto it um, so it doesn't curl up so much when I stick it in the envelope. And so that's this week's scrapbook video. I really hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some inspiration. Let me know in the comments down below which page was your favorite. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next week. Bye.